kids welcome back we're painting the inside of the boat now going to use this Krylon Fusion all-in-one supposed to be five times better on adhesives gloss white I don't know but I've used a shit boat of these cans and that was the first uh, coat on I'm actually doing the second you can see where it just doesn't cover over that gray it just takes a while so I debated on getting a spray gun and a you know just regular paint because the paint's like 12 bucks if you buy a quart versus cans at eight dollars a thing so i'm already into this you know let's see 12 12 cans when i get done with these next two and so i might have to buy another four cans just to touch up when i get done with this so let me put the second coat up here on the top around the rim and up on this deck you can see the deck even though it was gray covered much better because that was not sandblasted so it doesn't have as many rough edges as those sides I don't need to paint the bottom because wood will be going over that and foam so we just need to get the sides to look halfway decent you know so it's not a total ugly looking boat but as you know by now watching the last video paint is not my song strong suit see all those runs that's not the paint that I sprayed, that's the epoxy that I put on there, all those little pinholes. So wherever I put that epoxy and it ran. So the only way out of that is to sand it all down and to make it smooth, but I'm not doing that. I'm too old and whatever, you can do that to make your boat look a lot nicer. But by the time I put the board on and the foam, it's going to stand up a little bit. So it'll probably come to about right here. So you only have that little bit showing. And then anybody wants to whine and complain about it, he's fishing, we can always just chunk him over into the swamp because that's how we roll in the south. So I'll probably go and get another couple cans after this and touch it up. So we'll get all the high spots here and then just where it's really glaringly showing through on spots that I'm not covered, I'll use another two cans to really get it. So I probably won't do anything in here at all. We'll just focus on from here back that people can see. Tell me what you think. Hit the thumbs up. Leave me some comments. Share the video. Use the Amazon link. You know the you know the drill. Okay, let's go painting. Did I ever tell you fine citizens of YouTubeville that how much I hate painting? Alrighty, so we went to Lowe's this morning. Got another five cans of paint. Uh, I got one left because I got to sand down this top rail and do it again. So you can see like a little right under there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Spot mist there. Some shadows here. So I've got one can left. And after I do this top rail, that'll probably leave me about a half. But you can see some of those blemishes still in there. And down in that little indent there, you can see where the top's not done. So I'll do the, I'll take that last can and uh, do that top rail after I sand it down smooth a little bit because I don't want this to be at all feeling any kind of rough or or bumply and there's a couple little blemishes here like that one that I want to take out see that little blemish there and that take those out but you know more than likely there's another one up in there I'll run down to Lowe's get me another couple cans this is starting to get expensive I probably got let's see this is a 17 foot boat and right now I had six cans and six cans that's 12 and these five that I bought that'll be 17 and let's see 17 and I'll probably buy another couple so let's just round it up to 20 so 20 times 8 that's 160 bucks in paint just in paint not including time not including tape not including let's see another six eight cans of primer I, I want to do two coats of primer which primer covers better than white however with all that being said you know for about 200 bucks had I you know been wise and bought a sprayer I guess you know I would have absorbed some of that but I'm never going to use a sprayer again in my life so for almost $200 I got a fairly decent looking paint job for the interior and the top and it's got two coats of primer you know basically it's gonna have about four coats of, of this white enamel 
so it should be pretty tough and uh, but it's not looking too bad you know when I take this tape off I'm going to tape along here and along here and down here and this whole strip is going to be another color so tell me what color you think it should be leave that in the comments uh, ladies and gentlemen boys and girls welcome back we've taped up that strip that's the coat of primer that's going on it we are going to put on the final color here soon that's two coats of primer i'll peel that back down a little bit anywho so what color do you think i'm going to paint this strip pause the video right now the odds are open in vegas place your bets what color would that strip be don't cheat pause the video and you'll see when i get back okay kids welcome back hope you placed your bets this is the big one what color did you think it was did you put it in the comments don't cheat pause the video right now if you didn't and guess and here we go the big reveal Ta -da! winner winner chicken dinner all right so we painted that stripe black it looks pretty good i was lazy i didn't have any paper so i've got a little bit of overspray there which i'll have to clean off a little bit of acetone same with on the sides just a little bit here and there but on top this little bit of acetone i mean this little bit of overspray i don't care because i was going to do another cover of white anyways and so there's a little there and there but on a couple places that tape because i left it on so long actually peeled this up so i don't know if i didn't etch it good enough or i didn't sand it down good enough but i'll re-sand that area when i repaint just touch up this white and down here was a big area there was only that one spot this little spot in here that it did that so i'm glad that it peeled up instead of me getting in the water and whatever like i said just that little bit of overspray that's not a big deal but i think it looks pretty good let me know in the comments what you think and if you guess correctly man you get to uh stay in the kingdom and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to watch the rest of this build because the floors and the foam is coming up next if you guessed incorrectly i guess you're banished from our youtube channel no i'm kidding you i would never do that to you everybody needs to learn from my mistakes so tell me what you think how do you like the color scheme so far and uh you know learn from my mistake and just put paper down instead of having that little bit of overspray there but all in all for a blind old guy who's never painted anything you know on his first little boat here i think that i can live with it it's starting to actually look like a boat all right I'll talk to you in a little bit when we get the uh, foam flooring insulation and the subfloor going. Later, Gators.